the first thing that I would do if I got a new client is obviously you can get access um, to their ESP. And then the first thing I would do, honestly, is just kind of like check out the reports. Um, so I'll like check out their open rates, kind of see where they're at, make sure there's no like real red flags. The first thing I look for it. So like mine are all around like 30 something, but that's because my email list is only 2000 people. So the bigger your list, the harder it is to maintain higher open rates. However, you always want to make sure you're maintaining a minimum of about 15%. You could probably get away with low teens. Uh, but if you get much lower than that, you might start going to spam. So right. one way that you um, can mitigate that, actually, before we even get there, the other thing you want to do too is just kind of like read through a few of the emails and try to make sure that it's something that like makes sense to you. Because like you're signing into the account for the first time, you know, a lot of times business owners are writing their own emails and they're too close to their own baby. So they're like, you know, they think it's good, but they have blinders on and they can't see that like it doesn't make sense to other people. So you being new is actually an advantage because you can look at it completely unbiased and be able to tell like if something makes sense, if something doesn't make sense um, and so forth. And as you read it and you're trying to figure out if it makes sense or not, the next thing you want to ask you or ask you know them is like, okay, where did these leads come from? Uh, so for example, most of the people on my list came from uh, either seeing me on Facebook and like reading a lot of my content about list management, copywriting, deliverability, all that. Or they came from an ad that was either about like how to get out of the Gmail promo tab, or um, I have this product called the Unsub Secret where it basically teaches you how to leverage people who unsubscribe from your email list and actually uh, get them back as paying customers. Um, so I know that people usually get on my list in one of those three ways. So everything that I send to these people needs to be somewhat related to one of those three ways. If I start talking about like, oh, like Facebook ads, or if I start talking about like, here's how to, you know, become an email freelancer when like everybody's a business owner or start talking about super advanced business owner stuff when everybody's a freelancer, then it gets really incongruent and people stop paying attention to the messages.